What's up, everyone? Welcome back. We got a cool episode. I got a bunch of announcements to make. Uh, EMC 2.0 has officially dropped. Uh, all we're doing is pretty much a brand new logo, even better, and you know more lifestyle products. And we just want you guys to be a part of this EMC experience. Uh, before I share, you know, all the new stuff that we got coming out, we got the GT3 behind me, and we got this new titanium FI exhaust. So we are the first one in this world to be installing the FI exhaust in titanium for the 992 GT3. So come over here, let me show you guys. All right guys, you guys can check this out. Um, they've already made the stainless steel, but this is the titanium version. Uh, I gotta say, it's really, really lightweight. Um, they always have a nice carbon fiber tip that they make. But dude, this is eight inches diameter. Uh, this is pretty badass. And what's really, really cool is, so FI Exhaust decided to make a signature laser cut logo of whatever I wanted. Obviously, I could have put the EMC logo, but you guys are gonna be seeing a shitload of EMC logos. So, I actually put one of my favorite NFTs on here, which is a D-Gods turned dead god. Frank, if you're watching this, big shout out to you and uh, D-Gods community. Let's fucking go, let's burn this shit up. It's actually pretty badass to have a D-God or a dead god on my exhaust. Um, so we're gonna keep it burning, baby. Now, it's actually laser cut right here. Uh, it has the FI exhaust logo, evolution of titanium technology, it's a signature one, and the model is a Porsche 992 GT3. We are the very first ones, number 001. You know what, I decided to make another one. See how light this is? This is, this is just super lightweight. I decided to put my McDonald's D God, Dead God on the other canister right here. Um, and this is pretty cool. So when the valves are closed, it's less free flowing. And when the valves are open, it's more free flowing. And we are going to be using the OEM valve control so the buttons in the car actually work. Now enough about this. Once we get the stock exhaust off, uh, we will be doing a weight comparison. Uh, I'm expecting at least, I don't know, three to four kgs, maybe more. The only thing that I didn't like about the stock exhaust was that it's very quiet. So let me show you guys what the stock exhaust is like. But before I get to it, I do want to talk about the new EMC 2.0 logo. We got the new logo t-shirt, we got the new logo hats. And don't worry, we got everything in black as well. Also, backed by popular demand are the basic shorts. These basic shorts are so comfortable, uh, sold out every single time, and we're gonna bring it back with the new logo as well. Black, gray, and a couple other colors. If you guys really wanna get your hands on the new EMC logo products as well as the merch, drop date, July 5th, Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Don't miss out. And I got something really, really cool for you guys. We have a new keychain. This is real genuine leather uh, with the 2.0 logo right here. We have a couple different colors for genuine leather. Uh, also with the metal badge right here, uh, it comes in this or a bronze. It's actually really cool. And I walked in with a new umbrella, which is actually pretty good because, hey, we're in subtropical island, it rains a lot. And if you guys are not in Taiwan, if you guys want a dope umbrella or keychain, let us know. So let's let the boys at Homing do their work Let's watch the install B-roll. Let's see what they deal with. You know what? The G-Class Professional Center here at Homing, they don't just work on G-Classes. So if you guys got a Defender 110 or a 90 or whatever it is that you have and you need a place to do some installs or service or work, you guys just find Da Xiong or Xiao Ye at Homing. Their contact and info is down in the description. We've known them for like 20 years. They're awesome people. So if you need something done, go talk to them. Back at G-Class Professional Center, the 992 GD3 is done. 
the new FI titanium exhaust, finished installing. I can't wait to hear it. But before we get there, I wanna show you guys the new t-shirts in black, as well as the new baseball cap in black as well. You know what? I got something special for you guys. Ta-da, this is done. Finally, this is just a sample in gray. You know, it's for the nice interior of the Cayenne since the interior of the Cayenne is gray. But don't worry, I will have a tan color pillow as well as black. Uh, this material is kind of like suede. It's very, very smooth and soft. And we have the new logo right here. So that is coming, all right? July 5th, I am going to solve all of your lower back pain problems. EMC, baby. But before we go out, it is dreadful out during the summer here. It is so fucking hot. Uh, to be honest, it's 35 degrees, all right? 35 degrees is ridiculous. And you know what? We're men, we sweat a lot. I sweat a lot. I always keep something that smells really good in my car, and today I have the Mont Blanc Legend Red. Okay, this does smell really, really good. I know a lot of you guys are always asking me like, hey, what kicks are you wearing? Hey, what sunglasses are you wearing? Hey, what's your outfit of the day? Well, today, I'm gonna tell you guys what I like to wear with my cologne. When I go out, I still want to respect other people around me, especially while I'm working. And you know, just a couple sprays and we're good. All right, if you guys are into it, this is Mont Blanc, Legend Red. Anyway, let's get to the 992 GD3. All right, we're gonna do a cold start up. The car's been in here for about a day. Uh, but before I do that, let's go check out the tips. All right, so obviously it's not gonna protrude too much, but uh, it does have the FI exhaust logo right here. It looks more aggressive, you know, it's, it's darker now. It's got the black carbon fiber tip. The cool thing is it did save a lot of weight. Now, this is the stock exhaust, the rear section of the muffler. Supposedly, there are six compartments. We reuse the OEM valve controls. I'm going to turn this around and show you guys. But before I do that, I'm going to lift this up. Uh, 16 kg. All right, it's not too heavy, but it's not light compared to the 8 kg of the FI titanium exhaust. 8 kg. We save 50% of weight. I mean, we, this is double the weight of the FI titanium exhaust. Therefore, we saved 8 kg. Hey, that's what we should be doing, right? Saving weight on cars like these. So I'm gonna lift it up and uh, turn this around. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, I will turn this around here so you guys can check it out. So this is where the stock valve controllers are right here and here for the left side and the right side. Um, obviously you guys can't see it, but there's different compartments throughout this whole exhaust. I actually think that this is very, very restrictive. Uh, therefore, I wanted to get an aftermarket exhaust and FI exhaust came through with it. So. Let's see how the FI Titanium exhaust sounds now. All right, I know you guys want to do this, so let's start her up. You guys ready? So, my initial reaction is it's thicker. Um, obviously, the rev limiter is around, you know, 35 to 4,000, so I can't rev past that, but it definitely sounds way thicker now, a little bit louder. It's not crazy loud. We're gonna have to get it on the road, let the RPMs go up a little more. I just wanna give a shout out to FI Exhaust and Alan. You guys are awesome. Thank you for hooking this up for me. We're gonna get some incredible shots, so I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the vlog. I'll see you guys very fucking 
soon. And remember, stay tuned because the next vlog is gonna be fucking sick. So let's get going. you guys enjoyed all the b-rolls and no the vlog is not finished we are not done we're gonna go for a little road trip to Nantel tomorrow and I'm gonna talk about the exhaust sound so I'll see you guys later peace final conclusion I think that the FI titanium exhaust for the 992 GD3 is actually pretty cool I mean it's just a little bit louder a little bit deeper a little bit more rumble especially at higher rpms you can really really feel it and you can hear it although we did not do a dyno um, I think that the major difference would actually be in the headers and the cats this is just the rear section. It has AKG weight savings. I think overall, it is a great system for the price. If you guys are interested in FI exhaust, their link is down in the description. And like I said in the beginning of the vlog, EMC, we're heading to a new direction. It's a new beginning. Enjoy the ride, everyone. Stay tuned, EMC 2.0 is here, and we're going strong. Keep supporting us. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.